Boys, men, I think we've all had this thought in our head, at least I have, where we imagine what we would do if we were a girl. If you had woken up from sleeping and you realized your body felt different, especially around this part of the body, there's no shame in admitting you've had this train of thought. It shows the huge amounts of testosterone you have and the comfort you hold with your masculinity. There's so much tea pumping through your veins that you just want to know what it feels like to be on the other side. For everyone else who isn't male, I haven't been in your position so I don't know. Welcome to the video everyone, today we are going to look at a gender bend story called Onamai. The cover reeled me in with its cute art style and it kept me reading with the surprise I was hit with straight off the bat. The story follows a self-proclaimed home bodyguard, Mahiro, who is, in the kindest of words, a neat. He lays around and does nothing all day. The only thing that keeps him motivated to get up every day is the constant stream of Aroge games that steadily increases his game library. He wakes up one day and God wills it that Mahiro is now a girl. Well, not exactly. God in this scenario is his genius younger sister, Mihari, and her carefully crafted rehabilitation plan to get her brother to live the regular life of a functioning person. FYI, Mahiro doesn't know this, so I guess he's just tagging along for the ride as far as he knows. It starts here, Mahiro's reintroduction into society. It's strange to read this because the method Mihari used to turn her brother into a girl is through a drug. We don't really have any information on how it's affected his body, so we'll have to extrapolate. We know that Mahiro's member is no longer with him. His body functions normally as a normal girl's would. There's a running gag in the manga where he thought he wasn't sure if he was attracted to men or not, and I can't tell if it's a joke. Well, the cast is made up of girls, so I guess we won't be finding out about that anytime soon. It's mainly his thought processes that are in the gray area. He remembers everything from his male instinct, but we're unsure of whether he still has that dog in him, the one that will bark when its neurons activate. One of the segments of the manga that I empathize with is the exercise portion. Since the icky sticky of 2020, many of us have stopped exercising and it has affected us, both mentally and mainly physically. Some of us aren't fit and others have put on some weight. I applaud everyone who's gotten back into the groove since this, but sadly, I have yet to see the light. Mahiro was a shut-in for most of his years and even out of school. He'd stay inside and soak up the blue light of his computer monitors. He never was much of an outdoorsy or people person, so what reason would there be to go outside? The exercise segment was very touching. I know that I want to get into at least some light exercise routine in the near future, and seeing this gave me the slightest bit of encouragement. This manga goes through lots of silly scenarios, some that other slice of life anime could consider normal, and others that are out of the box and more with recent times. You can't rip a man away from his games all at once, or at all depending on the person. When Mahiro logs onto his computer to play one of his games, you have the typical banter and insult of telling a player that they aren't even a girl, despite playing a female character. Mahiro proves them wrong by hopping onto a voice channel with them and talking to them. It shocks them in such a way that many of them respond in the strangest of ways. One thing leads to another, and the next thing you know, Mahiro is posting for a self photo shoot, truly the attribute of an Instagram girl. He is on his way to the top of the modeling industry. Another one of the strange chapters is when Mahiro had the idea of starting their own YouTube channel, since they were now a bona fide real girl. He pitched the idea to his younger sister and the way that he was explaining VTubers and stuff to Mihari reminded me of when my dad asked me about anime and it was really difficult to explain that to a guy who's more into cars and outdoorsy activities like camping. He searched up some of the things that I told him and I sure hope he didn't see anything bad in his results. Anyways, Mahiro gets his sister to record him doing funny skits and whatnot. I called them skits, but it was more on the spectrum of roleplay. When you think of skits, people like Smosh and Ryan Higa come to mind, and they come up with thought out scripts and crappy costumes, which is nothing like what Mahiro did in his little display. Now that I've shared some of the silly gags in this story, there's one main point I want to bring up in this video. When people move from one country to another, typically one that isn't near their region, they experience culture shock. Culture shock is the recoil your mind experiences when customs and the culture of a country is drastically different from the one you were in. Well, how about shock from experiencing the horrid functions of the human body that God thought was necessary for us to have? When I say that out loud now, it makes me think of life like a game. As humans, we were always going to be at the top of the food chain, so by evolution and some higher powers, we were nerfed to have to deal with shitty problems that give no benefit to us whatsoever. Basically, being a guy, I can't imagine what it would be like to have to deal with all the horrible things women have to put up with. 
I mean, the worst we have to manage is our pubes, and that's nowhere close to handling the massacre that is a period. In the manga, this was the point of a whole chapter. Mahiro is feeling sick to his stomach and having pains around his chest. Before his sister could tell him what it was, his stomach kicks him in the gut and he decides to go to the bathroom. It was only then that he recognized the red scare that's been plaguing him. It's really funny because there are extremities of the female body that men will never be close to experiencing what they feel like, such as an orgasm or childbirth. But this alone was enough to take out Mahiro. Afterwards, he felt drained and hearing from past friends talking about taking medication to deal with the pains of menstruation and having to turn down invites because they thought they wouldn't be the most fun to be around. This little portion of the manga gave me an even clearer picture on how bad it must be. There's another thing that you don't think about, because by the time you're aware of this, it's old news for the girls around you. During the exercise bit in the manga, there was a problem that Mahiro had. He was running through his neighborhood, and there was a steady pain increasing on his body. For someone who never did exercise, you'd expect it to be one of the many muscles used when you're jogging, but it turned out to be his nipples. In this part of the manga, he wasn't so far gone in terms of time spent as a girl. With all these new experiences, I wasn't expecting this to be one of them. His nipples were chafing against his shirt as he ran, because he still hadn't learned of the concept of bras and why they're helpful. Thankfully, Mihari is there to teach him all about the wonders of women's underwear. These are things that you just don't think about when you're looking from the outside. There's stories of girls who have used other things, such as band-aids, as substitutes for a bra. Sometimes, you gotta do what you gotta do, no way around it. Now that I've talked all I wanted to talk about regarding the main topic, the main scoop of this story that interested me, this manga is getting an anime in the upcoming winter season. What a surprise that the past two videos I did involve anime coming out next season. Yeah, but for real, that's pure coincidence. I'm not trying to play the algorithm or anything. Anyways, regarding the anime, the style that they decided to go with interested me a lot. I love the colors that they're using and the style that they've animated it in. It's not using some of the standard, clean, slick drawing styles that lots of low effort animes are using nowadays. I feel like the shift in animation style is akin to the minimalistic style of advertising that big name brands are using for their logos now. It's all strange and gives me the creeps. It's shows like these that have that unique, hand-drawn touch to it that excites me. An anime that came out this past season, Do It Yourself, really made me happy with its sketchy art style because too many anime are getting the production line treatment. It's too much about getting anime out than it is about crafting a well-produced show. The voice acting sounds alive and full of energy. I hope they have the soundtrack and sound effects to complement the chaos that is Onimai. One problem is the over-exaggeration in some slice-of-life shows. There's a fine line between emphasizing something and tunnel visioning too much. Last thing that I want to say that completely caught me off guard. The same people who worked on Mashoko Tensei are working on this anime. That is so exciting and for me, I want to see if they can work well with a slice of life rather than an isekai that takes on more serious topics. That's all I can say with the limited information we have and I hope we can see some goodness come out of this production. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below if you're in any way excited. I'm gonna have another dumb anime to watch which makes me very happy. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.